this is the featured one it's gonna show up there so what I'm gonna do is hit choose file to upload it I'm gonna go to where I uploaded it on my computer wolf shirt upload all right wolf shirt use as featured image save changes all right so there's the wolf shirt looks pretty sweet all right type of product it's going to be a variable because i got different sizes cuts all that sort of stuff catalog yes i want it searched let's i want this featured i want it to show up on the main page because it's that sweet general SKU. you put your SKU number nine 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 weight, length, whatever you want, min, max, you know, I could put, they got at least buy a thousand of them. They can't buy more than 9,000. Okay. Excerpt, you don't have to worry about that. Taxes, no tax, no ups. Uh, let's do the upsale of, let's do, mm, let's see what a shirt. I'm not sure why that's not pulling up. I'm not sure what that how to how to do that. I'd have to look into that. Attributes, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a custom attribute. So I go to attributes, size, I'm going to add. Now I'm going to select which sizes I've got available in the shirt. I've only got small and mediums, so I'm just going to select that. Do I want visible, uh, do I want to show this on the product page? Yes. Variations, uh, do I want that to have variations? Yes. Next one I've got is uh, color. I've only got one color of the wolf shirt. I'm not going to worry about that. Cut. Add. Select terms. I've got all these cuts. I'm going to hit check all. I want it visible. I want them to be able to see the variations. Um, and so then I can go to my variations. Now what this is doing is actually um, each individual product, if I had a different color, I could show that. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go down, attributes, variations, enabled. I'm going to publish this real quick. That might be the reason it's not letting me. Okay. Variations. There we go. i got to publish it first so it catches it. All right. Variations. Default variations. Okay, here we go. First one, I'm going to give it the price $9. Uh, the, the shirt's better than that. $25. Alright, I'm going to click add a variation. Okay. Alright, here we go. So the first variation is what I did is, so I go to select options. And this is just saying if I wanted this to change. If I don't want it to change it's okay, this image, it's okay. So like if I select white, it's changing to white. If I do gray, it's changing to gray. And so each one of those is a variation here. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to find another wolf shirt. Let's For the sake of it, let's just do a tiger shirt here. Okay. Um, a wolf shirt. Let's do a different wolf shirt. So let's do this sweet one. Okay. Okay, now we're cooking. All right, size. Any size, I've got it. The, the men's cut 
is different. It's going to be a different shirt. So I'm going to click this and it's going to pull up what image I want to do it. The black one I'm going to give to the guy. So I'm going to say show. I'm going to say uh, use as featured image. Oops. My bad. Insert in a post. And so I put it right there. And that's every time it, they go to men's shirt, that's the men's wolf shirt. Skew, weight, men's price, $25. Sale price, no, not sale, you can't download the shirt. Uh, enable it, which means, hey, it's available. My next one, uh, I'm going to add a variation. So it's going to save that one. Here's my next variation is any size, or let's just, yeah, any size. And this is the women's cut. And then I'm going to click this and give it, if it's a different t-shirt size, I'm going to choose my file, which is the faded wolf shirt. Upload it. Insert in a post. All right, stock, quantity. That's where I put my quantity in so you get the your, your notifications. The price of the women's is $22. It's actually on sale for $4 because I want to get rid of the wolf shirts. I'm going to enable this. And then I'm going to click Add Variation so it saves it. All right, so I've got, for some reason I added that one. All right, so here I go. I've got my wolf shirt, got my men's cut, my women's cut. Two different pictures for them. Two different prices. All this is good to go. I'm going to hit Edit. All right, so here we go. Going to go to our home page. Featured shirt, baby. The wolf shirt's on sale. Featured it. There's the picture. It starts from $4 because that's the sale price of the one. Not all of them are. That shows the wolf shirt. Got the little sale sign here. I'm going to select my options. So from $4. That's the cheapest. This is the coolest shirt ever. Additional information. Here's the sizes. Here's the cuts. I'm going to choose my size. I want the small one and I'm going to choose my cut. I'm going to do the men's shirt. Well, the men's is $25. I'm going to do the women's. See, it changed it. It says 22 Remember, I put on sale for $4. Um, so I'm going to add it to cart. Remember, um, there it goes. It added it to the cart. I'm going to choose the guys one. I'm going to add it to the cart, and I added it. All right, so now I'm going to go to checkout. It says the minimum order quantity for the wolf shirt is 1,000. So what that means is, is we set it to the min of 1,000, so I'd have to go back and tell it, hey, I want 1,000 of the wolf shirts. Um, so that's how you add your products, edit your products. Um, so what I want to do is go back to products. And then well, obviously I want to delete the wolf shirt so I could just hit trash. And there we go. But that's how you, um, your store settings and adding products.